Good morning. Welcome to StockMarketFunding.com. We would like to present to you a little bit of overview about the Friday morning at 6.03 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. The date is 7-16-2010. One of the highlights that we would like to bring to your attention is that an Apple Inc.'s senior antenna expert voiced concern to who, of course, Chief Executive Officer Steve Jobs. Is it Mr. Steve, the one in charge of Apple? In the early design phase of the iPhone 4, that the antenna design could lead to dropped calls. A person familiar with the matter said. Now, just that was our very take and thought, is that the amount of qualified, diversified, qualified engineers and programmers and things like that that Apple has working for them is that this could have been avoided. Someone took the shortcut to not having the antenna done correctly. It carries a metal antenna that surrounds the outside of the device, a design chosen by Apple executives because it yielded a lighter, thinner handset. It also resulted, resulted in dropped and degraded. It resulted in dropped and degraded calls that led consumer reports to refrain from endorsing the iPhone. So that's how it got started. The other thing that we would like to take into very uh, careful consideration is the integrity of the company is, is that use duct tape, uh, use various different things. We found that very, 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 um, very, very unprofessional for Apple's response would even respond that way. I mean, who would? Other than if there should have been a response, it should not have been, well, here, take some duct tape. It's going to help you out and all of this and that. What the response should have been is that we'll look into the matter and we will correct it. That should have been the response in my view. And that if there are problems with this is that uh, the integrity of the company uh, and the people who work at it and people that are actually involved uh, that today's that there is a resolution for the Apple shareholders and the people who are going to be buying the phone. Um, a lot of people think that there's going to be shortcoming raises a possibility of product recall. Uh, most people want to believe that that's going to be unlikely for one reason is, is that today they will come out, they will be honorable about the product, and they're going to take care of the solution. There's a lot of debate as to how many people it affected and how many people it didn't. And the thing about it is it's all based on this antenna. It's all based on the fact that there has to be a resolution. There has to be a resolution. There is always a risk when you develop a new antenna technology, he said. Well, what a great statement. Um, we're not here to put Apple down, but one of the things that we look at is um, when the, the kind of people that bought the phone and the, the time and the hassle and everything that they went through to get that phone and the ones that are having a problem, well, then they're not happy. And then I believe that they say that there are phones that don't have a problem. So, you know, it's still very early other than they're going to hold the press conference today. Okay? And they made record sales. Okay, and everyone benefited from it. So, um, 
stay tuned there's going to be a lot of volatility in the name if there is a resolution you'll see another flash trade on it they'll flash it up five or six dollars real quick I just want people to know that uh, senior engineer and antenna expert informed Apple's management the device design may hurt reception it wasn't like they did not know this beforehand they were being told that there was a problem and <coughs> that problem should not have been released to the public and that's going to be the bottom line stay tuned 